Hi, this is Dave Golly from Pentagon Solutions and I want to take a look at creating some simple wall modification tools in AutoCAD Architecture 2013. Um, first up, what I'm going to do from my tool palette, I'm going to bring in some walls. Um, I'll start off with a standard cavity. Um, a useful tip on walls when you're actually bringing them in is that you can use your shift key to change the alignment. So you can see over here it's changing from left to centre, the right to baseline. So I'm just going to get that to left. And I've also got the height of my wall. So let's just do a quick sketch of a building here. And um, when you're getting to your last closing points, you can right click and go ortho close. And you can just tidy up like so. Uh, don't forget in architecture that uh, normal commands like fillet and say if we change the radius to two meters, they still apply. So your normal conditions like um, fillet, chamfer, trim, extend, etc., they work within the AutoCAD architecture environment. Well, simply what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to make a wall modification here. So I'm just going to simply draw a polyline. I'm going to put my snap on at the bottom. And change my sentence. I'm just going to make sure it's all on. And we're just going to hook in to the inner block work here. And I'm simply just going to sketch a component like this. It's important to leave it open. Don't close it off. And we're going to convert this wall out and we're going to use the existing 2D geometry that we actually have here. So if I select the wall, um, I can either do this through right click or I can actually use um, my ribbon up along the top and you'll see in here we have plan modifiers. So we've got a very useful tool called convert polyline to wall modifiers. So I simply select my polyline and um, it'll ask me if I want to raise my existing geometry, I generally do. And it'll ask me for a detail here. So, you know, if it was against a structural grid or something like that, you would put the grid detail in. I'm going to say A1. It's important here to actually assign um, what wall component it's applied to. Now, you'll notice I have block and plaster here. I'll show that in a minute. But I'm just going to actually keep it as block and hit OK. So you can see very, very quickly that that wall modifier has actually been applied. So let's take a look at that in 3D. Again, we can see the wall modification in here. But we would have an issue with this. So if we looked at it in realistic, we would actually see the block work here, but um, whereas in this point we have plaster. So how would we actually get the modifier going physically around there? Well, for this bit, what I'm going to do is do the same again, create another polyline. I'm going to create it to the inside of my block work. But I'm going to use the AutoCAD command offset. So we're physically going to offset this. And I'm going to offset it the width of the plaster, which is 13 mil. So you'd need to check the actual wall itself. But it's important at the corner, um, or where the intersections meet, is that you adjust your polyline as shown. So you can see here and here, and I'm physically adjusting the polyline to meet the plaster. So I've one tile into my block, and I've one tile into the plaster. Same process as before. Select the polyline, plan modifiers. Um, we simply convert this out to wall modifiers. Pick our block one up first. Erase the existing geometry, yep. Um, we'll call this block. And hit OK. And we make sure it's applied to block. We've got different options in here. We can apply it to the opposite face, etc. Um, I'm just going to set OK. Or we can have an offset from the bottom or top. Again, I'm just going to hit OK on that. So again, you can see our blocks come in, but we need to do our plaster. Same process, select it. Plan modifiers. Convert polyline pick our outer polyline this time and erase, we'll call that plaster and we'll hit OK. Make sure the plaster face is picked up and again you'll see this time it's actually gone around the actual plaster. So this one's just the block work. So let's, so let's show that in the object viewer. And orbit about so you can see the plaster is as expected and this one it's only the block. So all you need to do is an offset for the actual plaster distance itself. And that's simply how you use polylines uh, to, to convert out um, as modifiers in AutoCAD architecture. Thanks for listening.